In this video, I'll be going through how some of the features were created. The proof of concept is based on the Autodesk Platform Services Viewer. If we scroll down in the documentation, there's a sample viewer where I can view a sample model. Under the viewer basics, we can find the documentation that goes through all the steps required to initialize the viewer and load a basic model. Back in the app, I'll select the matte plane pinball machine. Here we have the assemblies and parts associated with the machine. I can bring up the basket by interacting with any of the machine parts, which allows me to add any of the parts to the basket for purchase. The interaction is done by passing a callback function to the viewer's on selection change function, which triggers when an item is either selected or not selected in the viewer. This is a viewer event function that notifies third party code about changes in the viewer. I'll add a few items to the basket before proceeding to the inquiry page for checkout. Next, I'll navigate to the animations page. Here we have the animations of how the assemblies were created. I'll run the alien target assembly animation by selecting the play button, which loads the animation extension. In the viewer documentation, there's a section on how to load viewer extensions. The documentation goes to how to write the extension code and how to load the extension. The animation extension uses the request animation frame function to move the different parts of the assembly. The viewer fragments can be moved by getting the animation transforms and updating them. These animations were manually created using 3JS logic. You can add animations which can be accessed in the viewer if you're using Autodesk Fusion models. To manage all the models, I'll navigate to the Manage page. Here we can view the local and cloud models. Google Drive is used as the preferred storage platform, but other platforms can be used. The Google Drive API's Node.js client library was used to access the models on Google Drive. Any other cloud storage platform with an open API can be used to access the models. The documentation goes through the steps required to access your Google Drive models using Node.js. I have added the link to the documentation in the description. The Autodesk Platform Services Model Derivative API is used to translate the models into several types of output file formats. The documentation goes through the steps to follow to translate the model. Under the API basics, we can find the steps required to translate the model and check the status of the translation. I'll view one of the machine pod models saved locally on my machine. The translation starts as soon as the model is selected. Once the translation is completed, the viewer is launched and I can view the part model. I can then save the model as a product, which would then be available for purchase. I'll navigate back to the model's homepage. I can also view cloud models saved on Google Drive. The app signs me in using my Google Drive credentials. Once loaded, I can view the model's folders on the left panel. The models are categorized into machines, assemblies, and parts. I'll navigate to my Google Drive, and here we can see that the file schema matches the one on the app. Back in the app, under the Assemblies folder, I'll view the UpPost assembly. Once the translation is completed, the viewer is launched and I can view the model. I can then save the model as a product. This saves the generated model urn with additional details to the database, which would then be available for purchase. I can then proceed to view the saved models, which are also categorized into machines, assemblies, and parts. I'll select the machines category. I'll then view the machine model. Here we can see the viewer in the middle panel 
and the model browser tree on the left, which consists of all the machine parts and assemblies. We can isolate each part or machine assembly by clicking on the assembly or parts in the model tree browser. We can also hide and show any of the parts or assemblies, similar to the model browser, which you can find in the viewer. I can return to the default model with all the parts and assemblies by clearing the selection. In the viewer, the box selection extension is used in order to box select multiple elements at once. The selection can then be saved as a selection set in the selection set table displayed on the right. I'll use the box selection to select the machine legs. I'll then save them as a selection set. Once saved, I can then isolate them by clicking on the selection set. All these selection sets will form part of the overall pinball machine. That covers most of the features in the POC. This was a fun project I did for Game Studio. The same concept was tried using only 3JS with a video on that to be shared soon. That should be it for this video. Please like, share and subscribe.